Hi, I'm Jason Mears, and this is Windows Server 2019 First Domain Controller, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So, in a previous um, video, we've uh, we've shown Server Manager. Uh, we're going to come in here, and we're going to add roles and features. And we're going to add roles and features to the current server, the one that we're on now. And the ones we're going to select are Active Directory Domain Services. And any additional requirements for that, it's automatically added. And we're also going to add a DNS server to host the um, DNS part of the domain. So in this example, we're going to host the DNS for the domain on the internal DNS server. And anything outside of that domain, we're going to forward to external DNS servers um, to resolve any other kinds of queries. But essentially, anything on this domain will hit this DNS server first, and anything it doesn't know about will be re forwarded on to another DNS server on the network or a public one. So the only two things we're going to add at this point... So that was the Active Directory Domain Service and the DNS Service. And there is a tick box we can use to say automatically restart when you're finished if you want to. So it's now starting the installation and it will install all required components. So what we have now is those Active Directory services present in Server Manager and at the top of the screen it says that there's more to do to finish configuring this as a domain controller. So we're going to click on the link that says promote this to be a domain controller. Now this is our first domain controller in a new domain in a new forest. So we're going to add a new forest because it's, as I say, first domain controller in the first domain in the first forest. This is a brand new Active Directory environment. And we're going to call this Active Directory environment Active Directory .local. The local just indicating that this is a, a, a private one on my own internal network. It's not meant to be accessed externally from the internet. And the .local suffix is generally used for that. So we're going to give it a password. And if you, if it was a public DNS name, we would use create DNS delegation. However, this Active Directory .local will only be used locally on my own internal environment, so we can ignore any error messages or warnings here. We don't intend to use a public DNS name for our Active Directory, so we can safely ignore that. So if you were to browse the network using NetBIOS, you would see a NetBIOS name of Active Directory. And then just the summary. So it will give us some warnings that some security settings are not compatible with NT version 4. Um, probably more relevant to people using the Linux Samba SMB server because uh, that also on previous versions was also similar to NT version 4 but for the most part you can ignore that unless you're using an older NT4 server or a Linux, an older Linux based Samba server. So now it's finished it's going to sign us out and reboot the machine. And now we have our first Active Directory domain controller. So 
and if we check in server manager we should be able to confirm that everything has gone through properly so we have a computer name of AD101 it's part of the active directory local domain and down the left hand side we can see the domain services and DNS services and it might take a little bit of time to update here but essentially we'll be able to see that those services are up and running and configured so there are a few tools that I like to pin to the start menu or create shortcuts on the desktop so domains and trust sites and services and users and computers this one here active directory users and computers is probably the one that used the most when doing administration we can see that we've now got a domain called active directory local and a container that or an organizational unit that we would put things like users and computers in And if I look at sites and services, you'll see that we just have a single site with a single server. And at present, we've nothing to replicate to because this is the only server we've got in this domain and in this site. So when we add the second domain control, you'll see more about those settings here to do with domain replication. But that was Windows Server 2019, first domain controller, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. Thank you very much for your time and I hope you found that useful.